Alright guys, today I've got another uh, video here on my Moto X. We're going to continue on with the exposed uh, framework modules, reviews. Um, I already did a video on how to install exposed framework. You can see there's the application right there. Um, and it's, you know, prerequisites and all that kind of stuff. Along with showing you guys some stuff you can do with this right here, Gravity Box module so pretty cool if you haven't seen that please go check it out to understand where i'm coming from and what i'm going to be talking about in this video so if you got those things kind of met i'm going to show you today we're going to show you about this right here it's called motoco motoco toolkit um, which is this module right here and we got to turn it on though i think to do this so basically i'm going to give you a link to this and where you can download it from normally you can download things in exposed right here under downloads this module is not listed in here so um, i got it off the web and i'm going to give you guys a link to it so you guys can get it i also want to give you guys a really cool heads up there's a new uh, exposed framework community out there um, run by a moderator that a moderator that i know his name is marshall williams awesome dude really nice He'll help you out with lots of problems if you're having any problems with the Exposed. A great community. It's really getting it going. It's pretty cool. So check that out as well. I'll put it in the video description. Probably want to join that community. It's got great stuff on Exposed Framework. They're always talking about cool little tweaks you can do on your device. All right. So all that being said, let's go ahead and turn this on. Once you get it installed, just go into Framework and click the little checkbox in the corner. Make sure it is done. It says it will be active on next reboot. So let's go ahead and do a quick little reboot on this device. And anything you see on this device that looks like not stock, for example, the reboot menu, the color of the uh, stuff here and here, um, that's all exposed stuff. So check out my other videos on exposed if you wanna see some of how I got this kind of tweaked as you can see it right here. So, uh, or the reboot menu or anything like that. So it should be cool. So if you see anything on this device that looks uh, not stock, it's definitely exposed running on this device, which is really neat. This stuff's got all kinds of cool things you can do. So let's let this thing reboot. Okay, there we are. We're rebooted. Let me go ahead and unlock this. And now that we have Motoco Toolkit installed and activated, um, we should be able to run the application. A uh, little splash screen here talking about it. And here we go. This is going to be the application. So. This thing does quite a bit of stuff. I'm not gonna go over through too much of it. I just really wanna show you the main feature um, that I think is really cool about it and that I was uh, pointed to by one of my uh, guys on Facebook. Um, and he, he showed this to me, so I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll do a video on that for you. But let me, uh, let me quickly point out a couple things that you can do. You can install Flash Player right there. Amazon MP3's got some hacks. You can install the uh, Facebook uh, Home Launcher and all its APK, uh, APKs and make sure your device is compatible. It'll hack it all so that you can do that if you want to run that kind of stuff. So that's kind of neat. Um, different other little hacks in here. There's specifically stuff for HCC1. Um, a lot of different little things you can do there that is really nice. Enabling and doing some different kids mode things and uh, match battery image to percentage of battery. Just, just a whole bunch of tweaks you can do in here for a couple different devices. Moto G's got some stuff in here for hiding carrier in a status uh, menu. Just all kinds of little cool things you can like tinker with and play with. But what I really want to show you is going to be over here and it's under um, uh, Google Nexus All. But before I show you that, let me just show you something really quick. So right here you can see in my settings under apps, there's there's nothing else there. Well, we're gonna put something there in just one quick second here. So let me show you. So we'll go in here to Google Nexus All, and it, right here it says Show Users on Power Menu. So we're gonna select it. We may have to do a reboot for this, but let's just see if it'll take or not. Settings. And yeah, we're gonna have to do a reboot. So once you select that, go ahead and reboot your device. And as soon as he reboots, I'll show you what this is tweaked and, and uh, how cool and what neat stuff you can do with that little hack right there in Google Nexus All. Okay, we're rebooted. Let's go ahead and unlock it. Let's go back into settings. And now let's see what we have underneath there. There it is. We just activated users. 
So that's really, really neat, and I'm going to explain to you how this functions. It's a little different than you would see on a tablet, um, but it does function. Dumb, no SIM warning right there. Um, does function for you, and it's a little tricky to figure out, but I will explain it for you. So most tablets have this user interface, and allows you to put multiple users, just like Windows has. You can put multiple users on your Windows machine, and they can log into their own version of Windows. It's the same thing right here with this. And I will show you how this functions. So like I say, Nexus 7 has it. You know, most tablets have this feature, but most phones don't. And I'll show you why I like it on a phone. It's really, it's really got a couple uses that I think is nice about it. So let's go ahead and click on it. And you can see I'm the owner right there. And right here you can add a user. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. And we're going to say, you can add just a standard user, but I'm going to say we're going to add a restricted profile. And I'll explain to you why I like this. So I got to set a lock screen for me if I'm going to do a restricted profile. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a pattern, and then I'm just going to go over, confirm, and confirm. And now this is the new user. And now you can put in here what you want them to have access to. So the reason I would use this really is for my kid. So. I can put in Angry Birds for them. They can get on Angry Birds. Maybe they can get on Floppy Bird. Well, there's a lot of bird games. Um, the gallery. Maybe I want to let them get into the camera. You know, a couple things that I, are things that I just want my kids to be able to use, and I really don't want them getting into the rest of this. So, um, just a couple games is all I got in here right now. So we'll just leave it like that. We can go back, and now that profile set up to only have access to a couple things on the phone, which is pretty neat. So now, if you give them the phone. They're not going to mess everything up. They're just going to play with their couple games, and that's all they can do. So we got the profile in here. Now that we have it, let me show you how you get to it. If you want to launch that profile, hold your power button. All right, you see it? Here's me, and here's new profile. You can name the profile too, but actually let's go do that really quick so I can show you that too. We'll name the profile. So go to Users, and... I think you need to touch it. Okay. Oh, so this is set up profile now. All right, so it just put, it bumped you into the profile. We can name it later. So it's preparing the device. It does um, a little quick thing because it's basically setting up a second user. So it's got to run here through this. It does give you some four stops. It's not really a big deal. Um, you'll see after we get it running that it does function correctly. All right, so you're, you're presented with the startup screen. And just go ahead and let it finish starting up. So you might want to go ahead and just hit home and then uh, leave this wizard. It's just a setup wizard. It just, just runs and it's annoying. So just get rid of that. And then you guys will see here, there you go. There's a couple applications that I basically allowed them access to. And there's nothing else in this uh, phone right here. So that's it's it's pretty neat. Um, and they're in there. Now, if you want to switch back to your original profile, hold your power button. And you can see that profile is checked. We're going to switch to the other profile. And you, here's the lock screen. And just go ahead and unlock it. And boom, you're back into your standard profile. You want to switch back to what I would call kids mode. Hit that new profile and you are now back to that profile. So uh, pretty pretty simple, pretty slick, very easy to do. Whatever they set up in here stays in here. Whatever you set up in here stays in yours. Um, I'm gonna go back to this one because this is the owner. And if Marsha will stop messaging me, I can get through this video. Gotta turn off my notifications next time. Um, we're just gonna go back in here really quick. I wanna just go ahead and show you how to rename this thing. Okay, to rename it, you just come in here and click on here. And actually, I've already renamed it. And right there it is. It's called Kids Mode. You just click on it and you can rename it to whatever you want. So this will be great for my kids. Anytime I want to get in here and uh, let the kids play on the device, I just hold my power button, activate Kids Mode, and shabam, they're pretty much locked out of everything except for some games and the camera and a couple little things like that. Even the Play Store I don't think will actually let them download anything. Yeah, see, you don't have permission. So. They're very restricted, basically, to these four icons. Even though these stay in there, I don't think they can do much with them. You can see the clock, so you can play with the clock. Downloads, what are you going to do in there? There's nothing you can do unless something's already downloaded. They don't even have internet. So, very slick. I like this feature a lot. 
Um, I really love that you can do this even on your phone. I know it works on tablets, but that you can do this even on your phone is very, very nice. That's going to be pretty much what I want to go over here with this uh, Motoco Toolkit. That's probably my favorite feature of it. If you guys want to download and, and check out the other stuff that you can do with it, here it is right here. And like I said, I'll put a link to it in the video description. So you should be able to see, you know, all the cool things you can do with it and go through it and check it out for yourself. It does do some neat things. Like I said, Flash Player install is nice for sure. And some other cool things you can do with it. So that's going to be it. hope you guys like this video on the Motoco Toolkit. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.